I'm 54 years old and I always loved cooking, but I was never able to follow my passion. So I want to prove to the world that you're never too old to chase your dream. What is this? Touch, last touch. So today I'm going to prove it. His... <laughs> It reeks of ambition and lacks technique. What a shame. Yeah, exactly. He went way out of his league. The jeopardy on a baked salmon is, when we cut it open, it can't be overcooked. Bar has been raised, just one apron remains. It all comes down to the battle. Season 10, the level couldn't be higher. The three battle passes, one apron left, made the best home cook win. Welcome to season 10, my friends. I hope you make it. Guys, is that chicken back in now? Yes, chef. Chef. Yes. This oh, chicken no. is no. raw. Oh no. Guys. Hey, hey Renton, come here. Quickly. This is a big problem. We got raw chicken. Cooking is the way I relax. And I cook for my family and friends all the time, but I've never cooked for so many people before. So I'm very stressed. I need the burgers, guys. I need the burgers. Season 10. Season salmonella. For the first time ever, I feel really good about this dish. I feel like I nailed the plating, I feel like I nailed the flavors, and most importantly, I feel like I'm finally showing the judges I'm a strong competitor and I can rise to the top. So, what's up? Describe the dish, please. Uh, so, I have a uh, swordfish pan seared with a mango, onion, and pepper salsa with a spicy cilantro, black beans, and a yuca. For a ceviche, there's the blood orange, the lemon orange, tomatoes, basil, and then I have the swordfish in there. And there you have me on a plate. Fantastic. I'm seriously worried about Sam. He's gonna cut the pineapple into chunks. It's gonna be fibrous. Yes. Do you often bake without a timer? Do you I, drive I... without looking at the speedometer? Fred, Sam, Evan, clearly uh, you three at the bottom of the barrel. And um, Fred, I lack lust performance, especially when the only one in the room this evening had done this before. Come out, Sarah. Come on, get it on there. Get it on there. Parmesan, let's go. Cherry, get him on the plate. Eight. Oh, my lord. Parmesan, let's go. Ten, nine, eight. <laughs> Come on, Suba. Speak up. Help her. I don't know what she's doing, Dorian. You don't know what she's doing. Wow. Wow. I'm making meatballs. OK. OK, all right. I've never seen much. Why you put them through there? I was trying to go and remove any impurity, Chef. It's a potato, you donut. OK, OK, sorry, Chef. All right, guys, there's just under 30 minutes left. I'm going to leave this to you guys. I'm going to go chicken on the party. Please. See you later, boys. Just under 30 minutes remaining. Zuba, Earth to Zuba. Steaks are ready. Get out the way. Yeah, tongs. Yeah, I'm wiping up. Yeah. Tongs. Chef, I, uh, I have tongs. Okay, come on, steaks on. Zuba, it's tongs behind. Yeah. Hell! Sorry. Parmesan, let's go! All of you, look at me! Yes, Stop chef. the clock! Stop the clock! Listen up! Season 10! Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Oh, man. Right, Dorian, season 10. Season it's the season two, of chef. the twist. At Noah, what a shock. I know. That's what happens when you try to be too much of a cowboy. This is a dream for me. Pull I really want this, chef. <laughs> you got. I think it's a good dish, good balance. Yeah, rich, crunchy. Yes. Thank you. Across the 27 minutes, you were so close to your risotto, you're almost making love to it. Uh, you wouldn't what? let it go. Yeah. OK. I've been told I'm a little clingy, chef, so. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Continue being clingy. Especially with your rice. Maybe one of the best risottos in 10-year history of MasterChef. Spot on. That doesn't come lightly. That was excellent. Excellent rice. Ah. One home cook will be sliced from the competition. Nick. I think this is the first time. Parmesan, let's go. I think this is the first. I don't need to stress the fact that it's season 10. Smoked egg yolks. You're only 22 years of age. Are you soaking your stale bread yet? My... Yeah. Do you know what the enemy of gnocchi are? Flour. Fantastic. Dorian, I uh, dropped my spoon. To you. <sighs> Fantastic wow. dessert. Amazing. I have to say, this is the worst looking dessert I've ever seen in my life. It's terrible. Bro. It's not only the worst looking, it's one of the worst tasting desserts. <laughs> it's so spicy. Yeah, it's just, yeah. I'm, I'm sort of. <laughs> Man, I know. I'm like. <laughs> Why does the dessert have to be that spicy? Honestly. Super, you kill us. How do you. And I want to be the next master chef. It's sweet, but it's spicy. Next up, now tonight everyone's cooking for immunity. But sadly, somebody is going home. Ironic double jeopardy. Absolutely. I hope 
this is not Noah's last aria at the opera. I hope not. It's not a crust, it's like dust. Dear, oh dear. Insufficient butter. Brie, you took a delicious carrot cake and turned it into a carrot pudding. It was dense with insufficient frosting. Insufficient butter. Insufficient frosting. Candice introduced me to cupcakes, and that's what really sprang my whole journey as a pastry cook nine years ago. And no. Oh, Lord. Nick has just put his macaroons back in the oven. Can you do that? I see a lot of shaky hands out there, a lot of nerves, for sure. Assembling the macaroon. Beautiful word for it. The foot or the ruffle? The ruffle. Yeah. Ruffle. Yeah, the ruffle right there is beautiful. It is Thank enticing. You. Well, isn't that social Darwinism at its finest? Guys, it's raining. Let's go, guys. Move, 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 move. I need potatoes over here. Come Parmesan, here, let's go. Fred, they're in Harry Covey. You're not removing someone's appendix. Use your fingers and put them on the plate. The potatoes don't get fried, so they're real oily, which is no good. Watch the go fish. Ahead. The don't, fish don't... needs to be pulled. The fish put it needs... in. Put it. Put them in there. You're the boss. So hold on, blue team. Is the skin back on now? The it's... skin is back on. These are oh perfect. Oh my god, this is so confusing. I need chicken hot. I need chicken over here. I need this done really quickly or I'm gonna send it back. Check Parmesan, let's go! Back. Give me some chicken right now! Micah makes a decision that's really contrarian to strategy. What's in the butter? There's truffle, a little bit of salt, and there's chives and tarragon. Mm. Try the butter, guys. An elimination challenge, you're gonna go for molecular gastronomy and you've never done it before. It kind of reminds me of like human remains, like a decomposing corpse. Guys, this is season 10. <laughs> Guys, doesn't she look delicious? <laughs> That's messed up. Hey, do not be rude in front of our guest here, man. I'm just saying. Make sure you watch the evolution of your dish, OK? Absolutely. Keep on cooking, all right, Absolutely. Suba? Guys, we're down to the last five minutes. No exploding sausages in the last five minutes. Ah. Suba, you have an yes, interruption. They're, they're exploding. Yes, yes. What are you doing? No, I... And remember, we're going to be judging the whole dish, the consistency and texture of your sausage. But even if you're a Jedi with spicing, you still got to cook your rice properly. And that wonderful bean stew underneath it, it's got dive in all over it. And I love the idea of the, the toasted slices on the top. It tells me it's going to scream of texture and dark, rich flavors. Thank you. Yeah, I disagree. I think the toast cheapens the dish. So you don't serve garlic bread in your restaurants? No. Oh, excuse There's me. no such thing as garlic bread in Italy. So <laughs> I think it cheapens it and makes it less than it could be. I disagree. If you want to do something interesting, take the sausage, make a pate, spread the pate on the toasted bread. I'm just trying to push you to the next level. Catching, chef. Would you it's, like a bite of garlic that's bread? That's the, kind of that's the kind of restaurants you guys go to. Would you that's like a bread? No, I don't want any garlic bread. You're such a <laughs> snob. Even the crema and the sausage, you have this way of juxtaposing flavors, which for my palate, which is quite sophisticated, is very interesting. This sausage, it's dry, but worse than dry, I have more bad news for you. Oh. It's terrible. I'm gonna go back home hey. and uh, focus on raising money for me. Hold up, guys, stop the clock. Gordon thinks he can do this in 30 minutes. Are you kidding me? I can't believe someone is going home tonight. Come on, Suba, we've got to go. Touch more in there. Yes. Light it on fire. Yes. Which is the worst is the difficult decision. Suba, Micah, two lackluster dishes. So cool. <gasps> Look at the deer. Oh my gosh, look at the deer. Look at the deer, right? <laughs> oh no, look at nose cream. Give it up for season 10 contestants up on the balcony. And previous MasterChef winners. Go, so guys. Those are the best pathways balls. Is that right? Talk about Jeopardy. 